Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back to the channel. Today I want to give you an update for October with the Xbox Game Pass. We had some activity at the end of September and a little bit here at the beginning of October. So I want to go over that, uh, what's been added and what's leaving. There's a long list of games that are leaving the Game Pass. Um, so I want to go over those, kind of get everybody caught up to speed on what has happened. Um, it's a little bit secretive and, and games tend to just come and go. And I don't think people really realize uh, what's left and what's actually been added unless you specifically look. Um, so yeah, let's dive right in. I'm going to talk about what's being added and what has been added to the Game Pass in October of 2020. So first up, I want to talk about Destiny 2. The expansions Forsaken and Shadowkeep were added on September 22nd. Uh, make sure that when you go into Destiny 2, you go to Manage Game. Um, and then you can see uh, what's ready to install. Um, that is where you can find the DLC to download this. Um, and it's actually a pretty cool couple of expansions um, that you should definitely check out. Night in the Woods was actually added on September 24th. Uh, this is a neat little exploration game with a pretty cool story to it. This is actually a game that I want to check out. I like the art style as well. Um, and it's definitely, it's gotten some really good reviews on Steam, a 9 out of 10. So I definitely recommend checking this game out and it's one that I'm definitely going to add to my list. Warhammer Vermintide 2 was added on September 24th. Uh, it's the sequel to Warhammer End Times. It's a pretty popular game, got good ratings on Steam, um, and it came out in 2018, so it's a relatively new game, uh, one that you might want to check out. And a huge game that we got on October 1st, Doom Eternal. I talked about this in my Bethesda video, um, but a lot more Bethesda games will follow suit. So Doom Eternal is on the Game Pass. It was actually added on the 1st, uh, just to catch you up a little bit. I'm sure uh, I'll be adding in more Bethesda games as they come to the Game Pass. Brutal Legend actually came to the Game Pass on October 8th. Uh, this is a pretty cool game. I like that Jack Black is the voice actor for the main character in this game. It's kind of a quirky, weird game, but uh, I think it's it's got some popularity behind it. Um, but that came on October 8th. Forza Motorsport 7 uh, was added on October 8th. Um, this one confused me a little bit. I actually thought that it was on the Game Pass, um, but nonetheless, it was added onto the Game Pass on October 8th. Uh, the Forza series is a very popular one, and it's pretty cool that we've got these different types of Forza games added. Um, being Xbox titles, it does make a lot of sense. Iconfell was also added on October 8th. Iconfell is a turn-based tactical RPG about a group of troublesome magic students. Uh, it's timing mechanics uh, that power your spells and block attacks. Um, sounds like it has a, an interesting story. Um, and it's got pretty good ratings on Steam as well, so definitely one that you might want to check out. Alright guys, that's some of the games that are being added to the Game Pass or have already been added. Uh, now let's go over the list of games that have left or are about to leave the Game Pass. I'm going to start at the end of September because September 30th has a lot of titles uh, that did leave. So here's the list. Uh, we start with Bad North that left on the 30th, Dirt Rally 2.0. Dishonored 2, Panzer Dragoon Orta, and Westerado Double Barreled. Also, Ukulele, they all left on September 30th. I was very disappointed about that. Um, I expect Ukulele to be back, though. Um, so, coming up, Felix the Reaper is leaving on October 15th. Uh, Metro 2033 Redix is leaving on October 15th. That's going to disappoint some and Minute is also leaving October 15th. So that's some of the games, not an overwhelming amount of games leaving, thankfully, because September we got hit hard with 2K and Red Dead. Not a whole lot really leaving, just Metro Redix, uh, but what we're gaining, I think, pretty much outweighs what we're losing. That's not a big swap here. I expect October to be kind of a busy month on the back end of it. Uh, we'll see some more Bethesda games coming, and I really expect more uh, the Game Pass to ramp up quite a bit. So that's kind of the update of where we're at right now um, with the end of September, early October. Uh, we got some cool stuff to play with Destiny. 
um, and there's a few games leaving that might upset some, but not really a big deal overall. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think, and as always, thanks for watching.